In this video, we'll have a look at the Carrier Portal. The Carrier Portal is a tool that allows you to provide your carriers with limited visibility to your own database. They can use the portal to see available loads that they can then reach out to you to provide a quote on, see active loads that they have been assigned, and upload proofs of delivery. View active and historical bills that you owe or have owed to them, including the payments which paid any of these bills. This allows a quicker line of communication between yourself and your carriers, all the way from prospective loads to active loads to accounts payable. You can provide a carrier portal login to any contact associated with any carrier vendor record in your database. This means that a carrier can have more than one login. To set up a portal user, we'll follow this procedure. You need to, of course, navigate to your vendor records so that we're going to find the carrier you want to assign to be able to log into your portal. You can now choose the carrier that you're looking to set up. Or alternatively, if it's a brand new carrier for you, you can always use the Create button to set up your carrier. By opening the carrier record that you want to assign a unique login to, you then will choose the contact. So you can have multiple contacts listed here. Every contact can have their own unique login credentials. Edit the record by opening it, showing the full details, and then you can now come here to the Edit button, populating a portal username and a portal password. Let's note here that no two users can have the, have the same portal username. They must be unique within your database. Once the portal login credentials have been saved, you then have the option to email the portal credentials. Provided the contact, of course, has a valid email address, this button will allow you to send them the login information so that they can then access the carrier portal and log in using the credentials you have created. And, of course, it will also send along a link to your portal. Let's have a look at the actual portal now and have a view for, of it from what your carrier is going to see. This will be their login page, and once they've entered their credentials, they will simply sign in, and they will be in the carrier portal that you have set up for them. The first item on the menu is Available Loads. This is a list of all advertised quotes and orders from your Tailwind database, where the pickup date has yet to pass. This section is designed to allow the portal users to reach out to you with their rate on that movement of freight. Active dispatches will be a list of all dispatches that you have assigned to this carrier. This is where the user can then print load confirmations, up to upload proofs of delivery once the freight has been delivered. Let's have a look at that. Here in the Action Center, your carrier can, of course, reprint their load confirmation if they choose. They can open the dispatch in question. And right here, using this button, they have the ability to upload proofs of delivery. And the last item to note is the menu item called My Receivables. Here, a list of all bills from your Tailwind database where the payee vendor is the portal user's carrier record, so any bills that have been created in your database for your carrier will list here. This is where they can reconcile their own accounting information to see what is still owed to them by your company, as well as a view of historical Tailwind bills that have been paid. They can also view which payments paid these bills, either in part or in full. And that's the carrier portal for you. Thank you.